What's up everybody, Taxproduction7 here, and as most of you probably know, 1.2.2 for Minecraft has been released today. So as usual, I will restart on all the mod tutorials I have done, just in case the installation is different or the files have changed, and to uh, make sure there's no confusion on what to do. So instead of changing the title to say um, 1.2.2 for the rest of my videos, I'll just go ahead and make new videos. And I will also be doing new mods, so don't think, you know, I'm just going to do just the mods I've already done. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with too many items, as usual. So let's go ahead and hop in Minecraft, and I'll show you all the features of this mod. So we can see here, if we hit E to open our inventory, we have too many items here and you can see that this is the version for 1.2.2 down here but you can also see we do have the new items and um, the new cat eggs and the bottle of enchanting and the fire charge and to give yourself items what you can do is either right click on it to give yourself one or if you left click it'll give you a stack of 64 so that is how all of that works and if you hold um, shift and click on an item that is stackable it'll give you a hundred and eleven or infinite of that item now to delete items you can go ahead and just turn on delete mode and just go ahead and select whatever items you want to delete you can also turn it into creative mode and everything will be here and you'll just have unlimited and you'll be able to destroy every block with only one hit while you have creative mode on you can also fly so you'll still have the flying feature then a, another thing about the mod is if you want to um, turn on and off rain you can do that so the rain is off right now so you can turn it on and there you go it's raining and when it does start raining naturally the button will be uh, lit up like that you just go ahead and turn it off you can change the time to sunrise so the sun will be rising over there you can change it to noon so the sun will be right above you you can change it to sunset so the sun will be going down over there and then you can change it to midnight and the moon will be in the middle of the sky so that is all the features for the buttons um, you can also save your load so I have just these few items if we we'll go ahead and click on the first save it'll save right there but if I go ahead and delete these now I can go ahead and click on load one and it'll bring the items back so if you ever want to save what you have you can go ahead and just do that and the last feature I'll go ahead and show you is if you're gonna record say a let's play or something like that and you're not using too many items and you don't want it to show up in your inventory all you have to do to toggle it off is go ahead and hit O and that'll shut it down and you hit O again it'll bring it back up so there you go that is the too many items mod so I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7 or WinZip. All these programs will work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then the only thing you're going to need to download is Too Many Items itself. So to download Too Many Items, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. So when you come to this page, go ahead and scroll down until you see download for Minecraft 1.2.2. Go ahead and click on that link, and this will bring us over to an ad fly. It'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. As soon as you click on skip ad, it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download too many items. When you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Then open your .minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR so I'm going to open it with WinRAR. Now your bin you're not going to need to open anymore so you can just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up too many items. Highlight all of these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. You can go ahead and close too many items now.
Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called metainf. If you do not see this folder, it's okay. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes. And that will delete metainf. You want to make sure you always delete metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete metainf, you're going to close your Minecraft jar. And there you go. Very simple. That's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.